Good morning. It is Monday, 1st of August, as if we are in August already. Um, it's my birthday week, which I haven't really thought about much, to be honest. Um, I think because I've had lots of other stuff going on with the single and stuff like that. Um, and because I'm 32. What? I don't, it doesn't even feel like I was yesterday since I was 30, so that's that. Um, I went for a massage on Friday. Uh, Wayne bought me a massage for my birthday, which was lovely. And I went to a place in Trowbridge called Nature Sanctuary, and it's just so good. The massage itself was amazing. She did my neck, my back, my shoulders, which was so tense. Um, and the lovely lady called Dee, she is also a CBD therapist and practitioner. And I spoke to her about how I've been feeling recently, um, the fact that I'm pretty sure I've got ADHD, that I'm on a waiting list, my brain just feels like it's racing, all of the stuff. And she actually has ADHD too. So it was so refreshing to speak to someone else who can completely understand where I'm coming from. It makes me feel less alone, which is great. And she has recommended um, some CBD oil for me to try. And I've taken some this morning, so I'm going to start it this week. And already, I just feel calm. Like, I feel, I can't, even exp I can't really explain it. I just feel like everything's just <sighs> calmed down. Like, I still feel, I'm still feeling, but I just feel a lot calmer. Which is great. So I will check in with you this week and let you know how I'm feeling as the days go on. But so far, so good. Next day. It is Tuesday, the 2nd of August. Um, I worked today, which was actually not bad. I think it's because I've been taking the CBD oil, which honestly is definitely doing me wonders. I feel... The only way I can kind of describe it is I I still feel like me and I still have feelings and I still feel everything but things are just dampened slightly and I feel more in control and able to focus on certain things like one task at a time. So I still sometimes get like a flutter of anxiety but it just kind of like pitters away like it's not so erratic. I don't feel as erratic as I probably have been in the past. So I'll continue just filling you in on how I'm feeling, but definitely the one thing that seems to be helping at the moment. I realise I hadn't really relaxed much since, well, even before the week of the single release. So I went upstairs, tried to do some guitar practice, but I just got hit with this like wall of tiredness and the heat's been pretty sticky, that sticky, horrible heat. So here I am on the sofa, catching up on a series on Netflix, funnily enough, called How to Change Your Mind, which is all about psychedelics. So I'm just chilling with the girls, who are currently munching, watching some Netflix, gonna have a nice early night, and then it's my birthday tomorrow, so. Hello, today is Wednesday the 3rd of August, which means it's my birthday! <laughs> And I've had a really lovely day so far. I'm off to the cinema tonight to watch the new Elvis movie, which I'm really excited about. Um, I met up with Grandad and had a cup of tea. Well, I actually went to Grandad's house, had a couple with him this morning, which was lovely. I had a cheeky McDonald's lunch with Wayne while he was working. So yeah, it's been a very lovely day. But birthdays don't feel quite the same at the moment since two of the most important women in my life have now gone. So Chloe was just always so good with birthdays and presents and just really loved celebrating people and celebrating people's birthdays. And my gran as well, just not receiving cards from either of them is still really hard. Um, but I focus on the, I try and focus on the small things, you know, like every message that someone sent me on Facebook or on Instagram, just every single message, every card I get, every single present, just just everything about um, about other people and, and what they're giving and, you know, 
just spending time wishing me a happy birthday is what I focus on as much as I can. So yeah, just having a cheeky game of The Sims because I haven't had played on it for ages and I thought, well, that's my birthday. I've got the day off, so I'm going to. Um, then I'm going to the cinema and then yeah, back to work tomorrow and then I'm off from Friday, heading back to the Isle of Man, which I'm very excited about. So yes, it's been a good day. Pretty sure I can hear an alarm somewhere. Weird. Anyway, it is Sunday, the 7th of August, and I am all dressed up in my pretty dress because I'm off to do a acoustic country afternoon, which I'm actually very much looking forward to. Um, it's at the Bell Inn in Laycock, which is a beautiful pub. It's really, really gorgeous. And we're going to be doing like a writer's round. Stu's going to be there. Dylan Smith is also going to be there. Myself. Um, my bad. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to it because it's going to be the last gig before we go to the Isle of Man tomorrow, which I'm very much excited for. And we're both going. Wayne is coming with me this time and we really do need the break. We need the rest. Um, yeah, I've, so I've been trying to organise all my clothes and stuff to take to the island as well as practising, running around, doing all that sort of stuff. It's been a bit stressful, but it's been fine since I've been on my CBD oil. I feel a lot calmer, a lot more collected. The girls are also going on holiday tomorrow, which is very exciting. So they're going to stay at the Rustic Rabbit Retreat. She also cares for guinea pigs as well. So they're going to be spending their days out on the grass, munching, living their best life. So they're going to have a great time. I'm trying to decide what to do with my hair. I'm not really sure. I've just washed it. I don't know if I have to have it down. I don't know if it's going to be too hot. I might try put my hat on. Mm -hmm. I oh, know, first world problems. Sorry, I'm just filming. <laughs> As I do. Oh, yeah. As I do. Yeah, of course I am. Oh, no. uh, <laughs> so, just turned up. Hello. Stu filling up. Say hi, Stu. Hi. <laughs> Mrs. Vince. Oh. Say hello, Vince. Um, really great venue. This is where we're going to be playing behind me. But this whole place is awesome. So this is the first of its kind, and if it all goes well, hopefully there'll be more, so yeah, just setting up, Let's see what happens. <laughs> Oh, darling. <laughs> 